All right, here's, uh, here's one of our bigger problems that uh, we come up. So we're adding fractions, right? And let's say, let me give you some fractions here. Let's do um, 3 fifths plus 3 fifths. Now remember, fractions, our denominator is going to tell me how much I'm going to evenly section away my whole bar. And then 3 is going to tell me how many parts I'm going to select. Okay, so I want to add 3 fifths plus 3 fifths. Now remember, it's very important for us to only add our numerators and then keep our denominators the same. So by keeping our denominator the same, what you'll notice is this is still going to be fifths, okay, into fifths. But then when I add 3 plus 3, what I end up getting is 6 fifths. Well, that becomes a problem because look at I only have five different sections, right? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to carry over an extra little part. And it's really important for you to understand, this is just kind of like an extra little point here. So really what my fraction looks like is I have a 5 over 5 um, plus a 1 6, which is going to get into mixed numbers, which I don't want you guys really to be worried about right now. But if you can just understand, when you have improper fractions, um, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then what I'll do is I can write this little 6 up here. So you can have a fraction that's going to be um, greater on top than over on, on the, your bottom. So let's look at another example of an improper fraction, or an improper fraction as an answer. So here I have 5 eighths plus 6 eighths. Remember, just add the tops, keep the bottoms the same. So 5 plus 6 is going to give me 11, all over 8. All right? And for right now, I want you guys to keep your answers in improper fractions. I will talk a little bit. Uh, you can see the videos on how to go from improper to uh, mixed numbers. But it's important for you guys to understand that this means there's going to be extra parts that I'm selecting over the whole. So when you have 6 over 5 or 11 over 8, you just need to understand that you have more than one or your answer is going to be greater than one whole. And that is adding with fractions.